Use the sample data and confidence level given below to complete parts A through D. A research institute poll asked respondents if they felt vulnerable to identity theft. In the poll, N is equal to 1,067 and X is equal to 594 who said yes. Use a 95% confidence level. The A part says to find the best point estimate of the population proportion P. The point estimate is P hat or X over N. So we'll divide 594 by 1067, which will give us a proportion of 0.557 when we round to three decimal places. Next, we are to identify the value of the margin of error E. The margin of error is half the width of the interval. So we'll use StatCrunch to find the interval width. So we'll press question help and StatCrunch. Then we'll click Stat, Proportion Stats, one sample with summary. The number of successes was 594. The number of observations was 1067. We are told that the confidence level is 95%. So we'll click confidence interval for P and make sure that the level says 0.95. Now click compute. We see that the lower limit is 0.52689355 and the upper limit is 0.58650851. If we subtract these two, we find a value of 0 0.059615. It is half that difference that is the margin of error. So the margin of error is 0 0.030 if we round to three decimal places. The C part says to construct the confidence interval. So what we will enter here is the lower limit and the upper limit for the confidence interval endpoint. So that will be 0.527 to 0.587. The D part says to write a statement that correctly interprets the confidence interval. The correct response will be B. One has 95% confidence that the interval from the lower bound to the upper bound actually does contain the true value of the population proportion.